So, I received your question. Um, and it's not a very long message, so I don't even know why I'm bothering to read it. Greetings, Jesus of glory to Jesus Christ. Uh, I mean, uh, I've enjoyed your videos for several years. What do you think? Uh, do you... Do you think you could do a video specifically on the unions? I myself am Eastern Catholic and would love to hear your thoughts. Okay, well, here's my thoughts. Um, this is what happened in um, Lebanon and Syria. You would have um, Eastern Orthodox churches, right? Eastern Orthodox communities that were there for, I mean, from the beginning. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. Um, places like Holmes, which is Emmaus, um, the uh, Damascus, uh, <coughs> um, just Palmyra, all these places. I don't think Palmyra was a living city at the time, but all of these places, right? Um, in um, in Lebanon and uh, Palestine, and uh, even in the Ukraine, before the Ukraine um, became uh, it became Soviet, what did the Roman Catholic Church do? Right across the street from the church, they set up a school, say free tuition to all Christian children. And it would be a Catholic school. And then they would say, hey, you know what? Um, you know, go on to high school because a high school, um, a, high, uh, a high school diploma, um, you know, before 1970 um, or even 1985 was a huge thing. It was like a college diploma now, right? Um Actually, it was worth more than a college diploma now because high school actually really, really was hard. And they would say, oh, oh, you don't even need to change any of your practices or beliefs. The only part that needs to be changed is instead of, you know, when mentioning, um, you know, when saying, you know, um, in commemoration of uh, metropolitan so-and-so, you say, Pope so-and-so and that's how a lot of the Malkites came over um, or, or were formed and that's how um, the unit unit is even a slam I know Roman Catholics who have been to um, what's called Byzantine Catholic churches um, that were Ukrainian in style and called it unit and didn't realize that it was these people who were Everybody in this union church calling themselves union didn't realize that it was a slam against them. Um, but it, uh, I guess it is an insult. Uh, your style of worship is beautiful because it is exactly the same as ours, except in one respect. And you have a picture of the Pope on the altar and you mention the Pope instead of a metropolitan. That's it. Um, I would, um, but over the years, the Roman Catholic, the, Ro the, the Roman Catholic Church of Rome and the Latin cardinals have meddled in the practices of these, of these, uh, ancient communities and, um, changed a lot of ancient worship. They brought in pews, um, They've uh, they've brought in some screwy ideas where they said you don't need to change any of your doctrines, dogmas, or creeds. Just accept the Pope and no, they were. I mean, the, you know as well as I, every Roman Catholic knows better than any non-Catholic that the the popes have been dishonest. There have been good popes and bad popes. And the bad popes of Rome have been extremely bad and extremely dishonest. And the bad cardinals and the bad bishops have been extremely bad and extremely dishonest. Us in the Eastern Orthodox Church, speaking about our own bishops, have a saying, the floor of hell is paved with the skulls of bishops. 
right? Nestorius was a bishop. Paul of Samosata, who, um, I mean, my God, I, I, it would take me 30 minutes to list off all the blasphemies that he believed, you know? Him having sex with all of his deaconesses, uh, denying the divinity of Christ, and all, just, I mean, goes on and on and on and on and on. He's a patriarch of Antioch. Legitimate, right? The good guy like Hippolytus was an anti-pope. So, um, I would say come home. I currently attend um, an OCA church that used to be Carpatho Rus, which was Uniate Ukrainian. And they switched over and said, nope, we're not under Rome anymore. Um, and I think it had to do with um, seeing the after effects of uh, Second Nicaea and saying, we don't want any of that. Um, and uh, they had they changed over and became um, part of the OCA, but they were Carpatho Rus, Uniat, Ukrainian. So they were of the uh, Ukrainian Orthodox style, but they were um, in full communion with the Pope of Rome. And they said, bleep this noise and left. And that's now the church that I attend, um, which is kind of funny because the style of icons is not um, done in what you'd normally consider Ukrainian fashion. It, they look more Antiochian or um, uh, Greek Orthodox. Um, I, I'll, I have footage up here, but I'll, I'll put I'll actually put I'll put up footage. I'll put up footage, uh, just forty seconds of it, and link to it so you can see some of the icons. Um, all right, peace to you, and thank you for this question.